Hello all you glorious people of the world. Chelsea Chi here, back with Chrono Trigger. So in the last one, we beat Azela. Um, and we've kind of destroyed all of the reptites, apparently. We also learned that Lavos was not created by Magus. Magnus. Magus. Um, he came from space in a, in a meteor meteoroid, an asteroid apparently, um, and landed here in the Tyrano Lair ruins. Um, so now we are going to go ahead and try and stop Lavos before he buries down into the earth. A gate. Lavos fast. Deep under earth now. Oh, I guess I, I talked and I, I just ruined the world. Sorry guys. <laughs> Might Lavos be the source of these? That one in Magnus's keep was immense. I'm gonna try and say Magus. But forgive me if Magnus just keeps popping up. <laughs> what wrong, Chi? One fight Lavos? Go here! No. Uh, to the gate? Okay. Well, let's go to the gate. Where does it take us? Oh, I thought we were going back to the end of time. To, to where have we come? Chi, where this place? Um, I don't know. Small cave. 12,000 BC. Interesting. So now we're in the, the Ice Age. Full on Ice Age. Still BC. We a Skyway? Where we advanced and then we got dumb. Is that the um hold on. Let me look at this map. Where where are we? Okay. The world's changed so much, you guys. Um, okay, well let's just go in here, you know. I didn't think stepping on the port portal. <gasps> you guys, what? Excuse me. Wh what? I thought this was like the ruins that we found. I just want to go. I wanted to look at these pictures and stuff. I mean, not step in the middle. Okay, let me. Let me explore the earth before we go into the sky. I got too much happening. My brain's being fried at the moment. <laughs> that might be the only place we can go. Interesting. So there were land bridges and then there was a world up there. I think that I, my initial assumption was correct about that we were advanced and then we got dumb by something happening. And not really dumb, but we just kind of... All the technology that we had got lost to time. You know, it, you know how that is. Um, hi. T oh, excuse me, what... Is that a, uh, I'm sorry, is that a island that is chained to the earth? A cave? Terra cave. That I could not do anything with. I see, like, a ladder, but I can't reach it, so... Must be somewhere I have to come back to, um... You know, I... I kind of honestly like that this game just throws, like, just throws you literally into places and you just kind of have no idea about it. Hold on, I want to... It doesn't show the floating this, okay. Um, and you just kind of have to figure it out. Um, okay, so those were the only places I could go. Um, 
But I really, I, I do actually enjoy that. I wasn't, like, when you think about it, it's like, oh, you just kind of time travel. Um, I'm never too sure about those type of things in games. Um, but this is, I like the way this is done. That it's not too overwhelming. Because you don't teleport to new areas that often. Like, you get in an area and you really are given time to explore it or not an area more like a, a time frame so to speak you're sent to one and you're given like a decent amount of time to really explore and figure it out before you move to another one um so yeah um in nasa looks like a little town hi The, the book just caught fire. Interesting. Hello, can I talk to you? Welcome to Anasa, Zeal City of Dreams. We seek enlightenment when the, within the bliss of sleep. Hmm. You are not of us, are you? I am not, but that is okay. Oh, I've seen you guys before. I thought y'all are like, y'all are fiends. Or you'll turn into fiends, I guess. This is the magic kingdom of zeal, where dreams can be made reality. But nothing in this world comes free. There is always a price to be paid. Oh. I wasn't expecting you to disappear. I almost like blinked and missed it. Um, this must be when magic is born. You are most unusual visitors. Am I waking? Or is this but a continuation of my dream? Regardless of that, I welcome you to Zeal. Her Majesty, Queen Zeal, rules this magic kingdom. She is without peer in beauty or grace. We owe our prosperity to Her Majesty the Queen. After the king died, she encountered the development of our kingdom's magical prowess, which has led to great advancements. Snore. Um, this is just kind of initial, but I'm not getting a really great feeling off of the queen. Oh, hi there. Water, maybe? Are you the same guy? The world you see with your eyes may well differ completely from the one I see with mine. There are as many different worlds as there are observers. Never assume that only those things which you can see or touch are real. Is it a little speck? It's a little doll. A little, like, speckio doll. Ugh. Ugh, snore. Truths exist in dreams. The world exists in me! Snore. You are awake, my good sir. Oops, they gotta go down this way. The city of Kajar, the high seat of magical research, lies on the edge of the western continent. The airship, the Blackbird, is maintained there as well. Snore. Because they seek enlightenment in their dreams, so I guess that's why they're able to talk to us in their sleep. The queen has sealed away the great elemental weapons and armors, forged with the power of the sun, in the shrine to the north. You can see its entrance on the northern continent, but no one is allowed inside it now. Oh, are you going to show me? I wasn't expecting that. Oh, I see, I see. Are you going to tell me how you guys are making these islands float? <laughs> I kind of would like to know that too. I am Doreen. Seek the hidden path and open the doors of knowledge, each in turn. I like you, Doreen. The door to the Northern Shrine is sealed by a powerful force. Even we, the Enlightened Ones, lack the means to open it. 
I thought you were a little chest. Hi. Welcome. Have you come to do business? I have indeed come to do business. May I business some things from you? Um, I can buy high potions now. I need them. And I got money to spare, so you know. Um, I actually kind of have been using these, so. Uh, we'll get some of those. Get some of these. Uh, we'll get some of these. Thank you very much, ma'am. Oh. Hello. He seems a sullen lad. What wrong? That animal for eat? Tastes good? Oh. The black winds howl. One among you will shortly perish. Oh my god. <laughs> Young one, of what do you speak? Meh. I do not know what this portends, but I do not like the sound of that at all. Strange boy, but not bad boy. Um, I could, you know, change out my party members. Uh, lightning, maybe, for that one? I wonder what's within the Northern Shrine. No doubt the key to unlock its seal is held at the palace, but entry there is strictly forbidden in the name of Her Majesty the Queen. I have a idea. Let me talk to this guy and I'll tell you guys what it is. The Queen's palace sits at the heart of our kingdom. She watches over all the world from its high vantage point. It's because of that we can sleep our days away in peace I feel like this era is what made those uh, black uh, chests that we've been seeing uh, in Frog's time and further. Um, th it says they're shut by a mysterious force. I feel that it is a mysterious magical force. This is a font of recovery. Rest your weary mind and body within, traveler. What, I can't go to no bed? Apparently not. Um. Is this who I want in my party? I don't know. If I'm being honest. Isla can't do any magic. But she's strong. This is an area full of magic. Um, and see, the thing is, I want to try to get everyone's combos unlocked. So, uh, let me think. Because on honestly, I really, I like Isla a lot, and then I like Robo a lot, and that... <laughs> That leaves me with being the only person able to do magic, um, which is just funny. I get two mag I get two non-magical beings in my party. Um, uh, I'm gonna do it because uh, I like it. <laughs> We'll, 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 we'll hang out with this for right now, I guess. Alright, so I've talked to... Oh, and he's hanging out right back there again. Um, so... This must take me somewhere else. One of the other islands. I guess I gotta go down to go up. Which is... Interesting. I feel like those people don't... Which... So that's just the Skyway as well. Now I'm over there. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Where else can we go? Probably nowhere. Am I going to see another floating island tied down? From Skyway to Skyway. 
Why did that one Skyway that we go on not have a little path up? Like it was just flat on the ground. Whee! I can't diverge off the path. Like I can't go into the meadow. I have to go across the bridge. I'm on the middle island. Yeah. So we've got the one, the shrine to the north, which is, has a bunch of magic that's been sealed off. And we've got that little area down there that we haven't gone to. Um, small cave. Kajar. So there's Kajar. Blackbird. That's the ship. Let's go here first. Are you statues? This is the magic city of Kajar. We perform research in the magical arts to help further Her Majesty's plans to deliver our kingdom even greater glory. Those lacking magic are known as the Earthbound Ones. They have always lived beneath the clouds, which is where Isla was from. It's only fitting. After all, they lack our talents. Excuse you, I've got a non- I've got two non-magical beings with me, matter of fact. <laughs> My, you've an unusual aura. You must possess the gift, too. Yours seems very primitive compared to ours, though. You poor thing. Can't open that book. How is it that we came to have the powers we do? Why do some possess the gift while others lack it? It is a conundrum. So does that mean if you're born up here and you don't have the gift, the so-called gift, that you get sent down to the Ice Age, basically? Seems a bit unfair. Your power differs from ours. It's difficult to describe, but in you I sense a strange kindness. I just like opening all the books, it's, it's pretty fun. Even though I'm pretty sure I've seen all three. In ancient times, people crafted wondrous weapons and armor by combining shards of a rainbow-colored shell with the sunstone's power. But now, only the guru of life knows the art of crafting such things. And even if others did, the queen has ordered us to abandon use of the sun's power. Ah, uh, such beauteous contentment there is in a newly blossomed bud. What that I could be a flower. Interesting. Um, another one of these. That's the sun temple which you see on the southern sky isle. The sunstone, once our primary source of power, was enshrined there. However, the temple was sealed up along with the northern shrine once we, once we turned to our new energy source. The queen claimed we'd no need for the energy of the tired old sun. So we've got two shrines that we can't get to yet that are closed up. Um, my, my suspicions uh, of the queen are growing more, I must say. Hi! It's you! From Frog's Time! Oh. I can buy more things. It's from you? I... I don't... You have the same stuff. I have platinum armor too, but I need Her Majesty's permission to sell it. Okay. I thought there was. It must have just been that that I saw. What tempest must rage in young Janice's head? His only friend, other than his sister, is a cat that follows him about. Oh, uh, so he must be the prince. We've been seeing a great deal of Lord Janice lately. Before, he scarcely showed his face. But now he paces around quite often, always looking upset. I wonder why. Her Majesty, Queen Zeal, has two children, 
Lady Shala, and young Lord Janus. Lady Shala is an incredible child with extraordinary magical powers. With such a gift, her life must be all ease and luxury. I'm gonna go in here first. The structure you can see deep beneath the waves below is the Ocean Palace, a symbol of our Queen's greatness. The palace is the beacon of light which will guide us to a brighter future. I'll praise the great and wondrous Queen Zeal. Are you, uh, oh, so I get shown the two temples, but you're not going to show me the Ocean Palace. I don't know, see how it is. The Earthbound Ones are being allowed to work on the construction of the Ocean Palace, since, you know, it's down there where they live. It seems even they have their purpose. Oh, I'm so rich. <laughs> The construction of the Ocean Palace, the Ocean Palace, has fallen behind schedule. An everlasting palace beneath the waves. It'll be a sight to see when it's finished. Ocean Palace. I don't think we've seen an Ocean Palace. I wonder if it's still there. Behold, that out the window is the great blackbird, built by Belthazar, the guru of reason. To see it soar across the sky, you'd think it alive. The guru is a genius. Guru of reason, is that... Let me go back to this guy. Is that the same guru? Oh, I didn't mean to step on that. Uh, so there's a guru of... Whoops, sorry. There's a guru of life and a guru of reason. I'm sure there's at least a third one. It's that little magical stuff that I collect sometimes, which is just usually ends up being items. Oh. I could have came to you, lady, and you would have solved my query. Uh, uh, hopefully you guys are in, um, okay with this just being an exposition episode. <laughs> It seems like I'm only going to be talking to people, which is fine with me. We have done a lot of fighting in the last couple episodes. I'm glad to honestly have a break from it. Um, give me more plots in my RPG. <laughs> the gurus of life, time, and reason dwell in zeal. Their knowledge and skill is without equal. Zeal's progress stems from our new energy source. Its power far surpasses that of the sun's elemental energy. Boop. I heard a strange prophet has come to the palace. I do not know the details, but I heard he has powers most uncanny. Interesting. Oh, that capsule's not been completed yet. Too bad, eh? <laughs> can't talk to you. I heard Lady Shala's Shlala's <laughs> powers far surpass those of her mother. Then there's her brother, young Lord Janus. He's of royal blood as well, of course, but doesn't seem to have the faintest trace of magical ability. Apparently he's a soothseer, though, and can see the future and that one of us is gonna die. Know you this, traveler? The moonstone could be restored to a glorious sunstone if left to bask in the sun's warm light. But such would, but such would require aeons, aeons. None of us will ever witness that gorgeous glow again. Well, guess what, my dude? I can, cause I'm a time traveler. <laughs> oh, boop! I'm like, why can't I talk? I forgot that you can just run away while you're talking to people. <laughs> I didn't press A. A guru once told me that the sunstone once held all the nearly infinite energy of our sun. Over time, that energy was slowly depleted, and it turned into the lightless moonstone. Water summons wind. Wind makes fire dance. Water will summon wind. And wind makes fire dance. I'm probably gonna need to remember that. Okay. I th think I've talked to everyone in here. 
the way this palace is laid out is kind of confusing. Ooh. Okay. Um, let's go to the Blackbird. Um, not for nothing, you guys, uh, but compared to the rest of your civilization, this seems kind of dangerous. Hi. Why are you here? All is well with the Blackbird, I presume. Oh. I, it was that guy talking. I thought it was these little guys. She is fully operational, Lord Dalton. Of course she is, you blundering idiot. Were she not, we'd all be in trouble. You. What are you doing there? Hi. Hmm. Those clothes. You must be the ones the prophet said would come to interfere. Excuse me. I think I shall watch for the time being and see how he plays his hand. Not that I suspect he'll tip his card so easily. Ha! Huh. Interesting. Hi. The blackbird's a symbol of Zeal's advancement. Never dreamed a thing so big could fly, eh? Okay, um... Little bit of progress there. I'm assuming I have to go in the small cave to get up to the castle. Because there's not anywhere else I can go. Um... It's that grassy stuff. Like, that was down where the earth bounders are. No monsters to fight. Because, you know, this obviously is a peaceful time. Small cave, small cave. I want to get to that water up there. Okay. I can't go anywhere else. So, okay. Might as well try. Okay. Zeal Palace. We're gonna actually save Zeal Palace for the next video. I think that would be good because we're obviously gonna get more plot stuff. Um, we're gonna meet with the Queen, I'm presuming. We'll probably see um, Shlal. <laughs> it does not... Shlala. The daughter. We'll see the daughter. We we'll, might see the son again. Um... And then we've got Dalton, who I'm assuming, uh, he, he seems kind of evil as well, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll do all that in the next video, maybe figure out if we can get to the shrines, maybe diverge from the plot a little bit, bit and go back and do side stuff in the other areas. I don't know if there's anywhere new that we can get to or anything else I can do. Like, if I go back and talk to people, if there's, like, side quest things that open up. Um, I know there are side quests in the game. I'm not sure when they happen, though, or if you're given any sort of, like, um, not warning, but given any sort of notion that like, okay, you can go back to this time period and something new is about it. Like something's changed. Um, so yeah, um, feel free to let me know in the comments below if, uh, if ever the time like plot wise comes up and it doesn't mention in game, you can just be like, hey, you can go back to this time frame and you can do something new there. Um, cause I'm assuming, uh, just based on this game, that a lot of, like, extra stuff you can do, they're not really gonna mention. Um, it's gonna be part of that sort of open world s exploring where the game wants you to, like, go back and just kind of figure it out for yourself and just kind of move around and all of that stuff. Um, so yeah. Uh, I like 12,000 BC. I like the, the dinosaurs a lot. Dinosaurs are kind of dead now, <laughs> but um, I like this like technologically advanced era um, and then we go back to medieval times and then we go to apocalypse. It's 
you know, sounds like a perfect world to me. <laughs> As always, though, be sure to like, comment, share, and even subscribe if you've not already done so. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!